sisters they come to their living room carrying her cups of tea. There's no one who has to say to her. Chris don't know everything. Uh, Petronia, dear. I haven't heard about my sister lately, have you? As he had his question, his sister was even shocked and angry. After all, they normally pretend we didn't have a sister. No, she just shocked me. Why? Funny stuff on the news, Mr. Tracy mumbled. Ow, shooting stars. A lot of funny looking people in town today. So, Mr. Tracy? But I just think maybe it was something to do with, you know, her crowd. Mr. Tipton, he super slips. Mr. Tipton, you wonder what did they tell her? He heard the name Potter. I said he didn't dare. He said as casually as he could. And son, he read about daddy. His age now, wouldn't he? I suppose so. Mr. Tipton, he said, Howard, isn't it? Harry, not he coming at me who asked me? Oh yes, said Mr. Dursley. Mrs. Uh, Mr. Dursley, how singing horribly. Yes, I quite agree. He didn't say another word on the subject and he went upstairs to bed. When Mr. D Mrs. Dursley was in the bathroom, Mr. Dursley crept to the bedroom window and peered out in the front garden. The hell was still there. He was staring down the perfect drive and so was waiting for something. Was he imagining things? Could all this have anything to do with the potters? If he did, if he got out, there was a pair of that sort of pair. Well, that thing he could bear it. Dursley got into bed. Mrs. Mrs. Dursley fast asleep quickly, but Mr. Dursley lay awake, to all over his mind, and that's comforting. So before he fell asleep, but he was a part of the world involved. No one else would have come near him, Mr. Dursley. The Pondu, they were here in Petunia, saw about him, and they were kind. Who's he had in Petunia? Who could understand everything? They can bring going on. He on his turn over. Could it affect them? How very wrong he was. Mr. Dursley might have been drifting into an uneasy sleep. A cat on the wall side was showing no sign of sleepiness. A sitting as still as a statue. statue. The eye fixed on unblinkly. A car could open her drive. There's so much you could run. A car would slam on the tree. BOOM! No one two hours through over. Choo! In fact, it was only midnight before, before the cat moved at all. A man appeared on the corner. The cat had been watching. I mean, it was so sunny and stunning and so he should have popped out on the ground. The cat's tail twitched and his eyes narrowed. The only night this man was to be seen on Piri Drive, a tall, thin, and middle old, judging by a silver hair and beard, we are both long enough to tuck into his belt. I wear long rows of purple cloak that sit, a purple cloak that sweat the ground, a high heel of buckle boots, with blue eyes or light, bright as bright, bright, half moon speckle and his nose was very long and crooked, and thought he was being broken at least twice. Doink! Doink! His man was Albert's Dumbledore. Albert's Dumbledore didn't seem to realize that he just arrived at the street, that everything from his name to his boots was unwelcome. He was busy rummaging in his coat looking for something, but then seemed to realize he was being watched, because he looked up suddenly at the cat, who was still staring at him from the other end of the street, for some reason. So the cat seemed to amuse him, and looked at him at her. I should have known.